Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Marco and I'm Mr. Good Riddance. In today's tutorial we will see how to get a really cool effect using a simple technique and just two colors, black and white. Please subscribe to my channel if you find this video useful and now without any further ado, let's do this! For today's video I'm using a larger cookie cutter than the one I used in my previous tutorial and if you have not checked it yet you can find it by clicking on the link in the top right corner of this video. I'm also using paint that I mix myself. When I started painting I would mix one part acrylic with one part floral and half part water but now I prefer using a bit more floral and less water. I will slowly pour white first and then black and I will make sure that I have them lay on top of each other rather than pouring directly inside of each other. This is especially important when working with white and black because mixing them will result in lots of shades of grey which we will still get in this case but they will coexist with white and black. Now I'll gently lift the cookie cutter and at the same time I will twist it to the right to start creating my spiral effect. So this part kinda looks like the James Bond intro. <laughs> so now it's all about doing the same exact thing over and over. Just be patient while pouring the paint inside the cookie cutter and make sure you don't lift it too much or the paint will exit too fast and it won't create a nice effect. You'll also see me rotating the cake turntable where I laid the canvas and that has two functionalities. It allows me to control where the paint is flowing as much as possible and it also allows the paint to expand ever so slightly towards the edges, making it easier for it to spread once we push the turntable harder. It's also important that you check that your cookie cutter always stays at the center of the painting or you'll create distortions in the spiral and the lines will look fragmented rather than curved. Now, before removing the cookie cutter, I'll use a straw to blow the paint at the center and create some blooms. Usually, the main problem with cookie cutter pores is that the center doesn't look very appealing compared to the rest of the artwork, so this is a really simple trick to avoid that issue. So, I've removed the cookie cutter and now I'll push the canvas on the turntable. The first push will be in real time, while the other ones will be sped up to save you a minute of your life. And as you can see, before I do that, I'm pushing down on the canvas to try to recenter my paint as much as possible. So here, literally with my fingers, I'm just pushing down on the canvas to let gravity do the rest. So there you go. And now I push again so that those corners start being covered a bit more. And now it doesn't matter if there are still some empty spaces, covering those two corners will be super easy since we're only working with two colors. I will just use a spoon to pick up excess paint and use it to fix the corner as well as the edges of the painting. Et voila! This black and white artwork was actually a commission job I got and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think this is one of the easiest techniques to master because it really is all about patience and just repeated gentle movement to achieve a consistent spiral result. I hope you found this tutorial useful. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I upload free new videos every week and your support means a lot. Once again, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you next time.